PC. Cables strap underneath, untie the strap and this will slide out here on your pull and the back of the PC has the connections for sound card as well as here to plug in also USB for the music so it's booting up the temper glass here ensuring the screen is protected just before I wrap everything up so make sure it's all working. PC boots up, then the Duke box just it's all the information of the songs that are currently on it. You might need a little uh, touch pen to move and to maneuver around, but everything is touch screen and should work fine. Like I said, I don't not too familiar with the software, but it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty simplistic to get used to. The uh, like I said, this is a PC. So once you turn the once you turn it on from the mains, we'll just turn on onto this. Yeah, you can shut it down, but because it's on a power save mode, you can just turn it off from the mains. That's how it works. It's okay. So there we go. So I'm just gonna select say, Adele. Oh, but to the temper glass, it's a bit different. But yeah, it's only because of the temper glass. But I know it does work. With the, I just have to. Un Take it off a bit. There it is. As you can see, it's moving now. It's just a temper glass, just for extra protection. Okay, there we go. So it does. Touch screen does work fine, like I said. And sometimes you just may need to get to the corner. because it's down here in the corner along here where the start button would, would definitely come up I'm not too sure see this little black dot it's not a marking it's not a dent or a crack in the screen it might be something that's inside that's a bit of dust here yeah, but it's, it shouldn't impede uh, yeah, anything that you need to do uh, for the touch screen. So, let's go see if, uh, if I can get to the start button. I think I need to go over here. There we go. You see, click on the top. No different like the X, and then the. Uh, and then you can turn off it. Turn it off. Yeah. Just a bit sensitive. So go get used to it. That's all. Yeah. And then, like a PC, yeah, you can just say shut down, turn off. But I can't turn it off because because of the temperature. So I'm sure everything's good. There we go. It's off now. Yeah. So just gotta get familiar with it, buddy. Uh, yeah. But like I said, like I said, I mean, software is very simplistic. You can buy additional software, but it does work fine. Okay. Uh, the sound uh, does play. Like I said, you've got various ways to do the sound. And once it sort of shuts down to here, which you can do, that's like you just get to get to the corner because it's. Uh, quite sensitive, yeah. Um, just made, needs a bit of fiddling around, but like I said, it's it's all it's all in very good condition. Uh, hard, it was never used really. Just sat there. Okay, there we go. Let's see, I think this was a marking from the uh, a sticker from the company. I never even I didn't really see it until now, but it doesn't really do anything. Okay, now the door. The door, like I said, it just comes up. I've got the keys, however, what the door is, it just, it'll just go here. Now, because I have problems with the lock, like I said, 
I had problems with the lock, but as you can see, the door does fixate and it's not really noticeable, um, to be honest. You just need some blue tap or something around the rim and you'll be okay, yeah? Yeah, you, you, obviously when you move it, the door will come off, so be careful. Uh, make sure you just sort of pull on the nozzle and let the door come down, okay? Or it'll just drop down. It is pretty tough anyway, okay, and I've got the keys, etc. And certain part of the lock that did come off, because I don't know what happened. The door just jammed on me, yeah. But like I said, it's easily accessible. Okay, there we go. And it says it's shutting down, but really it is, yeah. It will just stay like that sometimes, yeah, because it's on a power save mode, yeah. And you just turn it off from the mains.